think about everything we've learned so far about vector data theory, we've talked a lot about the theoretical side of how the vector data model is used to store representations of geographic features, paying special attention to issues with the geometry and also the attribute tables. We even looked at the intricacies of a few different file formats. But now we're about to make a very significant transition. We're going to move from just talking about how geographic features can be represented in a GIS, and we're going to move into how we can use those representations to solve problems or to answer questions. And that's really what we're after. I don't want to talk about representations of geographic features just for the sake of having their representations in a computer, but rather I want to talk about how we can use those representations to find something out. And to me, that's really the core of what geographic information systems is all about. In the real world, people have all kinds of geographic problems that they need to solve and all kinds of geographic questions that they want to have answered. We do need to be able to represent some geographic features within our computer system uh, in order to address those issues, because, but we want to be able to use those representations to accomplish these tasks. So sure, we're going to be creating maps because we want to create maps in order to show the final result of our analysis. We often use maps, not always, but we often use maps to show the final results of our GIS analysis. But we need to have done some analysis. We've needed to, we need to have been able to do something uh, in order to have something to display on those maps. So to me, the most essential core skill of GIS is the ability to design methodologies that will answer questions or that will solve problems. I think that's it. If you really want to have the core value, if you really want to be extremely valuable in GIS, then what you need to learn how to do at the core, at the fundamental core, is know how to design a methodology that will answer a question or solve a problem that somebody has. So now our focus is going to be looking at a core set of tools, a core set of functions or operations for vector data that I think everyone who has even a brief introduction to GIS, uh, an introductory course, needs to know. Uh, we have to understand these tools on a theoretical level so that we will understand what they do, but then of course we also need to be able to know when to apply them in practical circumstances by using their uh, and employing their implementations in industry standard software packages. So we've got to know what they do and also how to implement them and put both of those together. So over the next several videos uh, we're going to be talking about uh, what processes and methodologies uh, can we, we can apply to data that's been stored according to the vector data model in order to solve problems and answer questions. Uh, GIS uh, software packages often come with hundreds of different tools uh, to help us solve problems and answer questions. So of those hundreds of different tools that you've got, hundreds of different options, how do you know which one should be employed in any particular circumstance to get to the uh, result that you want, the answer or the solution? This is an excellent question. After having taught geographic information systems for several years, my strategy has been to start students uh, rather small, to identify a small subset of tools that every GIS analyst should know and know very well and introduce those in an introductory class. Then as students progress through more advanced uh, classes, I introduce more and more tools to the students which allows them to uh, solve increasingly sophisticated problems. But as it happens, there's a tremendous amount of power in even a small subset of tools. Just by learning a few tools very well, there is a huge number of problems that you can solve and, and a huge number of questions that you can answer using a very limited set of GIS tools. And so that's the core that I focus on in an introductory GIS class. It's a small subset of everything that's possible and yet it still gives you a tremendous amount of power. So that's why I developed what I call the Core Vector GIS Toolkit. The Core Vector GIS Toolkit 
is the fundamental set of tools and operations that a GIS analyst needs to know how to perform when working with vector-based data. These are the core tools that I think every GIS analyst should have in their back pocket, so to speak, uh, so they can draw on whenever they're trying to answer a question or solve a problem. It's the basic foundation that everything else builds upon when we're talking about vector data and solving problems and answering question, uh, questions within the context of uh, the vector data theory. But then once you combine this tool set with all of the fundamental information that we talk about regarding position, uh, coordinate systems, projections, uh, mapping fundamentals that we've talked about, you really are talking about a powerful set of knowledge. And then you combine that with your basic knowledge of rasters and raster processing that we'll talk about in other videos. And then you're really talking about having a solid level of basic GIS proficiency. So the core GIS toolkit is going to occupy us for the next several video lessons. We're going to look at each tool on two different levels, that theoretical level, in order to really understand what the tool does, and then also on a practical level that shows how the tool can be used in particular circumstances to get at some result, and then of course that implementation in a software package. So we're going to go through these tools in no particular order. Uh, really just starting with those that I've already mentioned in passing in the course. So the order that I present them in is not intended to indicate any kind of priority among the different tools or operations. Um, so what are they? What's in the core tool set? What I'll do is I'll go ahead and list the component tools of the core vector GIS toolkit here, but then we'll look at them uh, all in detail in future videos. So the core GIS vector toolkit uh, for this vector analysis includes the following. One, selection by attribute. Two, selection by location. Three, the ability to execute a table join. Four, the ability to execute a spatial join. Five, the basic geoprocessing tools. And uh, this includes the six core geoprocessing tools, buffer, clip, merge, union, intersect, and dissolve. Plus, I'll give you a bonus seventh geoprocessing tool when we approach the appropriate video lesson. Okay, so there it is. That's the core vector GIS uh, toolkit. We'll begin uh, the next videos by looking at each operation in detail. I look forward to seeing you then.